<laughs> Soul tattoos are not illegal. Welcome back to Zen Up Your Life with Sana Sakura. Did you enjoy your summer? I took a bit of time off to gather some energy and more ideas to share with you here on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for waiting for me. Yesterday, we got great news about tattooing from Japan. Tattooing in Japan is now officially legal. But what really happened? And what does it mean to us? Let's talk about it today. Before we go into the details, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. To explain this in details, I have the perfect guest today. Tattoo expert, journalist, and now representative of Bishop Rowley Tattoo Machines. Traveling Mick. Konnichiwa. After your post on Instagram, we get so many questions. Let's answer them together. So Mick, let's talk what happened yesterday about tattooing in Japan. Actually, what happened yesterday is that the Japanese Supreme Court uh, delivered a verdict that actually made tattooing legal in Japan. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Does it mean tattooing was illegal before? Strictly speaking, uh, tattooing was illegal in Japan until 1948. After that, it turned into a gray zone. Some people upheld the belief that tattooing is illegal. Some people said it's totally legal to tattoo. And others said you need certain requirements to become a tattoo artist. Who actually told you about this? That was you, Sana. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, no, a few years ago, uh, we shot this documentary for Swiss television together. And during these, this research, we met Taiki Masuda, a tattoo artist from Osaka. He was sentenced to a very high fine and arrested for tattooing without possessing a medical license. Basically saying he is not a doctor, so he cannot tattoo. So you're saying that you had to be a doctor to become a tattoo artist? It's crazy, right? <laughs> I mean, would you get a tattoo by your doctor? But indeed, uh, certain politicians in uh, Japan were saying in order to do a safe and healthy tattoo, you have to be a doctor. You have to have a doctor's license. But I personally think this is completely neglected about tattooing is actually art form. Exactly. Um, you can't learn how to be a great artist by going to university and get a doctor's degree. It's something that you need to practice. It's some creative inspiration that you need to have. Of course, you have to do a, a safe and healthy tattoo. But, but that... you don't have to spend six years uh, in university to study this, I, I would no, say. No, no, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> uh, but I think uh, some kind of... Uh, health certificate or certain requirements should be necessary and and I believe there are people in Japan working on this right now. Yeah and then yesterday? Suddenly the legal team uh, called Sana and told us the surprising news that the court case was thrown out completely by the Supreme Court. And Taiki himself also contacted to us and gave us the happy news. <laughs> yes. Why is this so important for Japanese tattoo artists? From now on, Japanese tattoo artists can tattoo legally without having to fear that they can be criminalized all of a sudden. If the local police president, for example, requires a medical license from the tattooist, and if you can't provide that, which you can only if you are a doctor, really, then you could become arrested and be stigmatized as a criminal in Japan, which is a very bad thing. You don't want that for yourself and your family. Mm. Don't look so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Tattooing, to give tattoo or to do tattoo is not illegal anymore. And tattoo itself, of course, is not illegal. So here comes another question. Can I visit Japan and go to a hot spa and onsen now? Because it was so kind of well-known sad thing that going to Japan and so many tattooed people were refused to go to Japanese great onsen or even swimming pool in a hotel. Do you think it will change from today? I think immediately now 
nothing much will change. But because a legal court, an official court of law, decided that it's not a dangerous thing that you need a medical license for, I think some of the attitudes of people might change. Coming back to the question of onsen, onsen is really important in Japan and it's a lot of fun to go to a, have, spend a holiday in the mountains and take a hot bath in nature or even inside your hotel. This wasn't possible for tattooed people so far, mostly. But there's no law that says you can't take a bath in a public place if you have tattoos. It's just the private decision of some of the owners of those places not to admit people with tattoos. The reason for that was that they were fearing that some of their clients who are not used to tattooed people might be scared. This prejudice, this idea is not being changed by an order from the Supreme Court. It takes a long time to change the attitude of people towards tattoos and tattooed people. It will take time. I mean, how long has it taken in your country, in your culture, to see tattoos as something normal, as something mainstream? It can take decades still from now on. Yeah. But we took a very important first step. Yeah. People tend to forget that tattooing was illegal in US before or even Germany. It will happen to Japan soon enough as well, hopefully. Thank you, Mick, for the valuable information. So it is a little bit sad still that we cannot go to onsen immediately, but this is definitely a big, big, huge step for tattooing in Japan. And I am and we both are so happy for our tattoo artist friends in Japan who can finally work safely and happily. And this is of course the reason to celebrate and if you like this video today, please like and subscribe my channel. There are and there will be more stories about tattoos, Japan, and Zen to bring you a better quality of life. So now, cheers, kanpai! Kanpai!